Well, well, hello my friends. I am two days late with this video and I sincerely apologize. I actually did film this video on Friday, like I normally do, we always do Jersey Concepts on Friday, but I did not have my mixer on off to my right here. And uh, it was a great video too. There were so many awesome jerseys that I reacted to in this set. And uh, you're gonna love the jerseys that you see in this video. Uh, Yuri is the designer, he did a fantastic job. But the mixer was not on, so there was no actual audio for the video. So unfortunately, I will not be reacting to these jerseys in this video because I've already technically done that and I'm not gonna fake react to the jerseys again. That's just silly. So what I've done is I've actually ranked these and uh, some people like that actually when I rank jersey concepts versus react to them. So shout out to those people. You will be happy <laughs> for this episode, but let's just jump right in. There's no reason to uh, waste any more time. Let's start off with 32, my least favorite, and we'll go all the way to one. Let's bring it up. It's gonna be the Florida Panthers here. And I'm gonna run through all these pretty quickly. So this is not gonna be a typically uh, super long video. So for this one, I find I found there was a bit of confliction with with uh, the gradient. I thought the horizontal gradient from left to right was uh, was kind of interesting, actually, in a good way, where we typically get the vertical from top to bottom or, or whatever. This is an odd one, but it looks good. However, I didn't like the gradient and the stripe is like this yin yang thing happening here. So what I mean by that is it goes blue to red or from left to right horizontally, but then it's the opposing gradients and the striping where it's a, it's a red solid stripe on the left, blue solid stripe on the right. And down on the stripe, you've got red to blue. So blue to red on the jersey and red to blue on the stripe. And it just felt like too much yin and yang, too much confliction there. So that was the reason this is last. Uh, 31st, I put the New York Rangers. I really like the shoulders. I like the design down below as well. And I like the the kind of relationship that the logo in the bottom of the jersey has from an angle perspective. So the bottom of the logo kind of tapers in and then comes to a point a little bit at the bottom of that shield. And the jersey itself in the middle also kind of does that with the stripe and kind of comes down to a point. So I like that bit of relationship there. But I don't really like the logo that much. I thought, uh, I felt like the like the top of the logo was missing or something, like maybe the Lady Liberty should be there. Just, it felt very compacted as a logo and an, a bit of an odd angle, an odd uh, perspective visually. So uh, that's number 31. Number 30 is going to be the Boston Bruins. So the jersey itself is pretty great actually, but what really threw me off was the logo. It's got this like frosted glass kind of look to it. And I don't really know why it doesn't really meet the rest of the thematic of the rest of the jersey. The logo feels like it's trying to be quite modern, but it's just a B, which is classic. And then the rest of the jersey is very simple. So I just felt uh, it was a bit uh, out of place, I guess, with the logo here. Number 29, the Edmonton Oilers. A couple of things I like, or I guess one thing I really like a lot is the number on the shoulder. I think that is a, tr a great idea. The orange stands out so well on the blue and also complements with the rest of the orange in the jersey. But I didn't like the logo. It looked almost like a like a movie poster or something. It just was too, I don't know. It's just, I found it a little bit odd. So uh, I'm going to zonk the logo. Let's move on. Number 28, the Devils. This was an interesting approach um, from a two-tone kind of view but I felt like it kind of collapsed with the logo. The shoulders and the arms and the rest of the jersey is fantastic, but the logo itself, I think it's because it's got that red gap kind of producing that bit of bevel or drop shadow there. And it's the same red that's in the jersey. So all the red from the jersey just bleeds right into the logo. And there's there's not enough separation between the logo and the jersey. So I you know add a, a black stroke around the entire logo to kind of close it up a little bit, or maybe just decide to add a little bit of white or some silver to match the silver in the NHL logo or something just to kind of make the logo pop a little bit more off of the jersey. Number 27, the Burger King <laughs> logo, I guess you could say, uh, matched with some very vibrant colors here with the purple and the uh, yellow or gold, whatever. And it, I will say that, listen, 98% of the Burger King uh, concepts that we get like this, I don't like. However, with this one, even though it's ranked low, I would say this is one of the, be the better ones or the best one that I've ever seen. The arms are pretty cool, but I'm still not a fan of that logo. Number 26, the Philadelphia Flyers. I felt like this one is a little bit too busy. I like the numbers on the front of the jersey there. We get that with the Vancouver Canucks Reverse Retro 2.0 and the previous generation Buffalo Sabres jerseys. Uh, they did that uh, definitely in the Reebok years. I don't know if they did it in the Adidas years, but I, I, I kind of like that. But I felt like there was just too much going on and there's white in the logo, but there's not white anywhere else in the jersey. So maybe add a little bit of white to the, the neck or something or the collar. And I think I would remove the stripe in the middle behind the logo. It just felt, there's just a lot going on on the front. Number 25, the Buffalo Savers. I think it's a little bit risky to use transparent graphics on a jersey. And that would be a sublimation print if this was actually uh, you know, physically produced. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I felt like it didn't work here. I felt it was more of a distraction, mainly because the same exact graphical element is, is 
already on the front of the jersey in the logo. And Yuri's taken it and just kind of made it bigger. I think the transparency is right. The amount that we can see it, which is very little, is right. But I don't really like the position. I'd rather take the individual sabers off the shoulders, which kind of are the same transparency, eat them off there, take what's down there, which is the two sabers, and put uh, four, I guess, four technical sabers on the shoulders, two in each shoulder, and just have them transparent. I think that would look a little bit better and just leave the regular jersey to be clean. Number 24, uh, kind of for the same reason, I guess, I, I was... I wish you kind of could have seen my reaction to this because I didn't actually see the Hurricanes logo in behind there, very, very transparent. And it's also sideways too. The first thing I noticed was obviously the purple shoulders matched with the red. That's a color combination that I can't, uh, you know, off the top of my head, think of too many concepts that we've seen with that color combination. However, it was, it was good, but the logo in the background at the wrong orientation, I felt like was, uh, was a, a zonk for sure. And I felt like the logo because the logo is primarily red with those flags, it bleed it bleeds in and it blended in too much with the red primary jersey. I would have preferred to to see a, a black version of this, I guess, instead of red. Number twenty three, the Seattle Kraken, and I liked this approach of kind of creating a scene on a jersey, but I didn't really like the tentacles that much, like the the kind of staged gradient of the the light teal to the uh, more of a blue, and then into a kind of a gray blue, and then into the darker blue. That's, that's neat. I think that shows the progression of a gradient in the actual ocean and stuff, and they're called the Kraken, and it makes sense from their brand, but I just didn't really like the tentacles that much. It was just, uh, I just felt it was a little bit awkward. Shoulders are great. Number 22, the Vegas Golden Knights, and while I was not really like super, super excited about this jersey, I think it kind of makes sense just from a logical standpoint. You've got the gold jersey that they have as their home jersey, which a lot of people have really come to, to love. Not so much wear, <laughs> but love. And they've got the uh, reverse retro, which has the Vegas kind of going down there. So I think if you kind of combine those, keep the red in there a little bit, you know, this could be an interesting alternate jersey for sure. Number 21, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, Toronto does have an alternate black jersey. I don't actually know if they wore it this year or not. It was the Justin Bieber reversible one from the previous season. But this was a this was a pretty decent approach at a different black alternate jersey. I don't love the stripes on the arms. I think they're okay, but I like how the logo's done. And I think this will look pretty good. Number 20, the Washington Capitals. This feels very logical as well, keeping some stars on there, which you can see in their pants and some other uh, stuff that they've got going on, like other jerseys that had that Capitals jersey with the stars above it. Very acceptable to see those in there. And then that logo is amazing. I think a lot of people really, really love that logo and would love to see it on the front of a jersey. It looks good. Number 19, Blasty, but with a, with a tweak, I guess. So the current alternate, which is the based upon the original 1.0 reverse retro jersey, it has a bit of an update to the arms that has that kind of very transparent flame in there. So Yuri's taking this off of the arm, put it in the middle of the jersey, making it bigger, and then basically added a stripe behind Blasty there. I think I'm okay with the stripe. I would actually just remove the flame though. I think this jersey would be better without that flame. Number 18, the Nashville Predators. I thought this was a good approach at kind of using yellow not as the primary or secondary color and uh, implementing more blue, which is great but I kind of wish that it was black and not gray. I think this would have been a better jersey in black, but as is, it's still pretty good. Number 17, this one threw me for a loop for sure. I was just, you know, just to, to not see the blue in there other than in the neck was a bit strange and to not see their primary logo in the front of jersey was strange and just something completely new. So I will say that I'm not a huge fan of the logo, but uh, I don't hate it by any means. I really like the black. I thought having the black in there would be extremely complimentary to a, to a uniform. Black pants, black gloves, uh, you know, uh, burgundy socks with some black striping, black helmet. I can just see this whole uniform kind of come together a little bit. So it's a really, really interesting approach here, Yuri, on this one. Number 16, the Dallas Stars. We see lots of Texas uh, themed or Texas flag uh, themed uh, jerseys like this. And it's for good reason, it needs it needs kind of needs to happen. This would be a really really good alternate for them. Just something a little bit completely outside their brand, but still looks good and is still representative of where they come from. So good job on this one. Number fifteen, the Arizona Coyotes. I thought this was an excellent uh, kind of like take on an alternate jersey as well, and I think this could totally work with within their branding right now today. I think you could implement this and it would look great. The stripes were I think applicable, but a little distracting like I would almost maybe think about making them thinner or maybe just a little bit transparent I'm not exactly sure I'd be very curious as to hear what you think down below in the comment section on this one I'm sure there's gonna be some polarized opinions uh, number 14 the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins so we've seen lots of concepts like this I'm not gonna break this down a whole lot there's a lot of concept designers doing this because it seems like such a good idea a lot of people like this and there's been a thousand different variations of this and they all pretty much look 
good, just like this one. Number 13, the Tampa Bay Lightning. I love the induction of more black into an alternate jersey. Just thinking about, you know, the Tampa Bay Lightning having an alternate jersey that was black, not the gradient one, but an, a, maybe a new alternate like this, and then boom, you face a team in the first round and you have the exact same colors. Not sure if that would ever happen, definitely not this year, but if it did, maybe you could use the alternate jersey if it was black and use that in the playoffs instead so you wouldn't be conflicted with the other team from a color standpoint. Hmm. So I really like the fact that he made black as the primary color here. And the lightning bolts, a little distracting. I would reduce the transparency on them. Number 12, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, this is just kind of a, a throwback a little bit. A, a really good alternate that uh, pays respect to their past a little bit, but still extremely vibrant. So, um, yeah, good jersey. Really good jersey. Number 11, the Ottawa Senators. Uh, this was great. I think I can see, like, the alternate jersey within this. The alternate from CCM, Freebach, or, like, 13 plus years ago for the alternate jersey that I'm thinking of, but it's within this jersey. And then the red kind of encapsules it a little bit. So that's this was a cool jersey for sure. I'd love to see this as a physical one. Number 10, the Montreal Canadiens. We've got a combination between uh, two jerseys here, but I will point out that I do not like the numbers and the letters. It's got this like graffiti kind of weathered look to it. I don't like that. Just give me some regular numbers. The Canadians would not do that. They're a very traditional team. They would just go uh, very simple, simple mode. But the rest of the jersey is fantastic. You even got the right logo in the front here, the LNH, the uh, uh, French version of the logo. However, I don't think they use that on their away jersey, but this would be an alternate and they could potentially wear it at home anyway. So we've got the uh, away jersey shoulders and then a bit of a callback to the 1944, 1945 jersey, I believe, from the Montreal Canadiens in the middle where you've got that blue stripe. I like this. I think this is a really, really good uh, combination between those two historic points in, in Montreal's history. Number nine, the St. Louis Blues. And when I first saw that, saw this jersey in the original video that you can't see now, I thought, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't really know about this. But the more I looked at it, the more I really appreciated it. And I like the fact that there's only yellow in the logo. And you know, it might be nice to have a little bit of yellow down below, maybe in the collar just for some balance. But I don't know, it's just a little bit different. And I kind of like the fact that the numbers are white and then the letter in the, in the front of the jersey is the dark blue. Typically, I wouldn't, but for whatever reason, just a gut feeling. I, I don't know. I kind of liked it. I like this jersey. Number eight, the San Jose Sharks. I rank this in the top 10, not because I love this jersey, but because I think Yuri made the, uh, just a, a wonderfully perfect logical decision here. This is taking their current brand, their new home and away jersey, and just kind of tweaking the color up a little bit, throwing in the black and making that an alternate. I think that makes absolute sense. So I had to put this in my top 10. Number seven. Well, <laughs> Fisherman fans are not going to be happy, but I like the fact that he took the Fisherman jersey and he's like, you know what? I'm going to add more waves. And that's what he did. And look, look at them all down there. That's amazing. And it's also black is the primary color too. I really like this jersey a lot, actually, regardless of the memes and stuff. Um, it's good. Number six, the Minnesota wild this was awesome i was not expecting to see yellow used that way in a minnesota jersey now i don't like the logo but the rest of the jersey i thought was great there may be confliction with the uniform what color are the gloves going to be was if they were green would that be weird with the yellow bottom of the sleeve what about the pants like would they be green would they be black was there too much going on there i don't know but these are the kind of things that i think about when i see a jersey concept and but regardless individually awesome jersey number five detroit red wings just because it makes sense. Like this would be a great alternate jersey for them. Simple, part of their history, off-white, uh, is signifying an original six team, a bit of a weathered team. So yeah, this works. Number four, the Anaheim Ducks. I thought this was a really good simplistic take at their original branding. So you don't get the slanted stripe, uh, which is great. Don't get me wrong, love it. But this is just a very subdued version of this. And also the color balance in here. Where green, there's so much green up top. And instead of making the top stripe green, the top stripe green, and then the top stripe green in the middle, he did the purple. So purple in the neck, same thickness of purple in the arm as the top. And then the top stripe down below is also purple. So just allowing more green to settle down below because there's so much green up high. So great color balance here and a wonderful jersey. Number three, the Vancouver Canucks. This is essentially kind of just like the white version of their previous alternate jersey. And it, man, it looks good. It looks really good and I would totally be in favor of this. So I had to put it in top three. Number two, we've seen a thousand concepts that look pretty much identical to this. And this one is perfect and it needs to happen. Chicago, it's only a matter of time. They're gonna do it. It's only a matter of time. They are going to come out with a black alternate jersey or switch up their home. I hope they don't do that. I hope it's just an alternate. 
but still it's gonna happen and this jersey to me is perfect i would absolutely love to see this that would be a day one purchase for me and number one i put the columbus blue jackets and when i first saw this i loved it and after looking at it for i guess probably 15 plus minutes in the original video and then you know now doing it and stuff and in between videos no regrets i feel the exact same way about it and this one is just screams perfect uniform to me so just the jersey itself is great. It plays right into their history, what their brand was built on. You got the cannon in there, which is a call out to the alternate jersey. You've got a bit of personality in there as well with the captain that actually literally says captain in there, which is great. But then the uniform, it all comes together. I see the helmet being the same color of the dark blue, the gloves with the dark blue, the pants with the dark blue, not much black in this uniform, just kind of you know going the Detroit Red Wings approach or the uh, Calgary Flames approach, where it's just kind of all almost one big singular color. And I think it would look fantastic individually, amazing jersey, and as a potential uniform, just conceptually in my head, amazing uniform so this is my favorite yuri thank you so much for submitting these i really appreciate it i do apologize once again that you did not get this video on a friday however i hope you're having an amazing weekend and i hope it's not too late for you to watch this and there's loads of videos coming on the channel after i film this i need to film seven series preview videos plus my bracket prediction video, plus my bracket want video. So there's lots of videos coming and most of those will be, will be released in the next like 24 to 35 hours. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you get notifications turned on. And uh, I'd love to hear you chime in on those videos as well and, who you, and tell me who you think is gonna win the Stanley Cup. But make sure on this video, tell me what was your favorite Jersey con concept that you saw in this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, hoping you're having a great day and I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.